Hey there, this is Pat, and as I continue with day four of my cross-country road trip, I meet Buddy Collins to check out his Prowler and lots of other Prowler stuff he has as well. Okay, okay, well now we're here with Buddy Collins, and we're here to see his Prowler. So what year Prowler is this? It's a 99. 99, okay, and you got it when? 2002, on 2000. our anniversary. Okay, and how many miles? Uh, it's got about 18,000, 19,000, something wow. in there. Wow, okay, so you haven't driven it a whole lot then. No, but when I do, I, it, it's a lot. I've been up to the nursing home nationals for Larry Bell's deal. Mm -hmm. Just one of those out of the seven he put on. Okay. That's, Three thirty-five hundred miles up and back, so okay, it's a good car. Okay, so what originally got what made you originally decide to get it? I mean, when you got it, was, was it new or did you buy it used? Oh no, I bought a second hand. I worked okay. for a Lincoln Mercury dealer. We had a Lexus store, and I saw this thing on the lot, and I had never seen one up close. Mm -hmm. I went and looked, and I thought that's pretty neat. Used car manager says take it home for the weekend. Mm -hmm. I said, ah, I'm not gonna fit in it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> he said, well, try it. So I got in. Mm -hmm. I was amazed at the legroom. Took it home. Told my wife, hey, look what I got for our anniversary. She said, okay. She was okay with it. You got you, okay. You've got a great wife. Hey, I'm married 53 years, so we've hey. been through just about all of it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so when you when you got it, you know, closer, we can hear your voice. So, you know, when you got it, did it come with the um the, the hard top? Came with nothing. It was strictly stock, just a red oh. 99 with a rag top. Oh, okay. I've done all this stuff to it. Oh, okay. Um, everything I have that's red has blue pinstripes on it because mm -hmm. I like the contrast. Mm-hmm. I put the side louvers on, and as far as I know, there's like six or eight panels of those, and Marty has one of them. Yep. I got Foos wheels on it. Yeah, I was going to ask you about the Foos wheels. Now, interesting on yours, because you do have the same caliper covers. I have the same design, but the issue with mine, I've got the stock wheels. Yeah. And they, it's, there's very little clearance between the the caliper and the wheel, and that's what caused mine. It just went out of alignment and it broke on the way that. here. So, and I was looking at yours, and I'm like, oh, you don't have the same problem because you've got a lot more space there. No, I've got there. more clearance there. On you've the got way, the spoke. yeah, you've you've got a full fingers worth in here mm -hmm. that I don't. I have not. I have maybe a couple millimeters on there. So this, I still have it on this side. Yeah. And that may go too at some point, but mine's missing on the other side now. So okay, so what would, in the order of things that you had done? Did, did the bumpers come off first? Okay, first thing I did was the Tom Mills bumpers delete, yep. you know, like most people do. It just looked terrible. It looked like the stock bumpers were just an afterthought, you know, mm -hmm. like the engineer, design engineer, he said, oh man, we got to put bumpers on this to be legal. Yep. First thing I did, I've got one of the Grace's custom made aluminum grills. Mm -hmm. I got the uh, old Max license plate mounting bracket. Um, I had the stripes and stuff that the flames put on. Mm -hmm. Uh, about so who five did, years ago, it's kind of different. Yeah, no, no, it's very well done. Did, did now was it like a local shop that did the painting, yeah, or was it? Yeah, made... it was a friend of mine that does custom painting. He was working in a body shop at the time, so. Okay. And that's what I did for a living. I retired as a body shop manager oh, okay. for a dealership. Okay. But this car is also—I don't know if you notice—in the back, it's got a real rod spoiler on it. Okay. And if you look under the spoiler, there's something missing. Well, yeah, the, the the brake light's missing, right? There's there's no holes. There's nothing. Okay. Oh, so they didn't even it's have to put a cover in. All filled in. All filled in. Of course, there's LED and the uh, spoiler. Okay, because um, Steve Clark's got a similar setup on his, but you can see the little panel that they put in there to cover yeah. up where the old one was. Well, this was back then when stuff like that really wasn't available. Mm -hmm. When the real rod uh, spoilers were still available, so mm -hmm. all that's been filled in. I got okay. a chrome hitch, yep. uh, boiler exhaust. Yeah, I like I like the. Uh, you like that touch? Yeah, that's nice there. I thought that now this nice. is now is this was this repainted the black part that's not yeah. the original yeah that's painted too right they're gray yeah they were gray well yeah it's a, it was a it was a 99 so they were gray they were gray yeah okay and you know but i two-toned it because i thought it would look different no that's nice i like that and on my trailer I, I mean i like the i like how you got the lettering in blue that's sharp i like that oh it's actually it's got like a little bit of a reflection a in there yeah it's called a shimmer is it okay? Those are just decon okay. They're yeah. pretty thick though. I'm feeling it's pretty fills yeah. it in pretty good. Oh man, I wish Jerry Harris still sold it, but he hasn't sold them for how long has it been? Ten years? Two thousand seven or something like that. Wow, that Okay, so now the mufflers. I'm not the muffler, but the tailpipes. That's a boiler. It's also these are boilers. Okay, I have a boiler muffler in it. Okay. And I like the sound of it. it Doesn't resonate at speed. I have high performance gears in it. Mm-hmm. I drive it like that all the time. So. Okay. 
Yeah, we, uh, we were talking with uh, Marty about it. The, the drone of how loud it is though on the freeway. He said that's a bit of a, because it's already loud. Obviously I've been on the freeway a lot the last couple of days. Yeah. And uh, it is definitely loud already. So I can imagine that makes it, and there's no way to turn it down. Unfortunately, there's no, no way to. You can't, it depends on what RPM range your crew's at. Yeah. That's why I got a hard top. Uh, our first oh, trip. Oh, so that, that makes a big difference then, oh, doesn't yeah. it? Oh yeah. Okay. You, you know, rattling and wind noises and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. My wife and I couldn't even carry on a conversation on the road. Right. So I got the hard top. It took me a while to convince her to that. Mm -hmm. She didn't see anything wrong with the rad top. Right. So anyway, I bought the hard top, put on it, and quieted down the interior quite a bit. Okay. And I've done some touches on the inside. I used to make custom steering wheels. Okay. Just, I've got, I think I sold 99 of them finished, and they're all over the world. Really? Wow. It's fiberglass. This it's, is, a, this it's, is... it's a stock steering wheel. Okay. Fiberglass painted the color of the car. I've got one of the big tacks in it. Uh, okay. Oh, the auto gauge one. Yeah. yeah. Marty's got the same one on his. Yeah. Okay. And I like the shifter. I like yeah. to have the different color shifter with the chrome on it. Oh, and well, even I your even your parking grid. Oh, you painted that. It's red. I painted that. Oh. Okay, I, so that's the original. So the that's a stock one. The, the stock one, but so the leather is still the same one, but you just painted Correct. it red. Okay. You know when they paint bumpers and stuff like that mm -hmm. in a body shop, they add something called Flex Agent, which okay. gives the material some flexibility. Okay. And it's been on there for ten years, not a problem. Wow. And I made the little cover for the emergency brake handle. Mm -hmm. I painted the insert in that red. I painted my. Okay, my, so the okay, so the panel around the radio is all. Yeah, that's a, that's a stock panel. Just it's a stock uh, panel, just painted red. Okay. Oh, and you got a waterfall too. Yeah. I haven't really had any real benefit from that. I probably should have got the one that could put a sub in it. But yeah, that's what I was wondering. There's no different speaker. You got a speaker in there, it looks like, in the side, but that's just a lot of the yeah. sound from the, the old speakers are coming through that. That's it. It's just little vents in the side that lets the sound out. Okay. So anything mechanically different in the car? Anything that I would like to see different? Well, have you done? Is there anything other um, upgrades? Uh, other than the stuff you see, I probably haven't done any upgrades in a while. Um, I kind of got it where I want it, mm -hmm. where it's personalized. That's my car. Mm -hmm. you know, so I'm happy with the way it is. I don't drive it as much as I used to. I probably mm -hmm. should. Yeah. There's a couple little subtle changes, like on the hard top, yeah. this little recessed area, I painted that black. Oh, okay. You know, so it oh, so that, that used to be red? Yeah. See, I, yeah, very well done. Yeah. There, there, there's a little ridge. See, this is like a little indentation. Okay. See? Yep. I had a black tie and I painted it black also. I had a black tie hard top. Okay. And I painted that black. It was silver. So okay. it contrasted good and I carried it forward on this. So. Okay. So you still want a black tie prowler as well? I had a, oh, it's a, that was the nicest prowler ever. It's in New Zealand, isn't it? It's in New Zealand? Yeah. Some good. guy bought it from New Zealand. Came down here to Texas, bought it, had one of his guys drive it to the West Coast and mm -hmm. put it on a container ship, took it to New Zealand. It's in a, the way I understand it, it's in this guy's car collection. Really? And it was black tie number 161. Oh, I so bought it from a POA member. That's almost the last one then, wasn't it? Yeah, or, I think they made 163. Yeah, it was almost the last one. Because I just saw um, Brad. Uh, Brad's. Yeah, it's Brad's. I saw Brad's just yesterday. And he's, I don't remember, he's got, he knows the number too on his. I can't remember what he said, but he told me the total was about, was about that much. Yeah. So. So when did you have have the, the black tie? Well, I had it, and this one I've had for almost 20 years. The yeah. black tie I had about, oh, probably 10 years ago. I got the hots for a Viper, okay? Mm -hmm. So mama said, want another car, sell a car. So I sold the black tie. I had an original black tie trailer that I mm -hmm. had with that. Mm -hmm. There was like 10 of those made. And I sold the car without the hard top and without the trailer. Mm -hmm. And I sold the trailer on the hard top to a guy up in Canada who sent a truck down here to get it in the car. And with that money, I was able to go buy a Viper. So mm -hmm. I bought the Viper, I drove it until my knees really gave out. Yeah. And after 30 minutes of driving a six speed, mm -hmm. it's painful. So I sold that, my Viper, bought a 2014 Corvette, didn't enjoy that. So I sold that and then I bought my 37. And okay. I'm planning to sell my 37. I want to get a 66 or a 67. Chevy Nova Super Sport. So, okay. you know, one of the things I wanted when I was a kid and just ruled over. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but when you when this first came out, though, again, so you, when this car first came out, did you know about it before? I mean, I so you bought friend, it, you bought this new, you saw you, you saw it on a lot. So, you, did you even know about the car before you got it? I knew a little bit about it. Uh, I didn't know a lot about it. I've never been a Mopar guy. I mean, I've owned probably, honest to goodness, at least 40, close to 50 Corvettes in my life. Wow. You know, when I was younger, I used to buy them 
on a weekend, work on them after work during the week, and mm -hmm. sell them the next weekend. You know, I mean, oh, okay. So I enjoy doing that, but this is my first Mopar. Okay. And I didn't know what to think, and I'm I'm happy with it. I'm not mm -hmm. disappointed with the motor. Uh, it's it's it is what it is. It's a cruiser. You know? Yep. That's well, what that's I what I people enjoy. have to accept it, and a lot of people don't accept that yeah. with it. But well, I like as long as you accept it. And I've got a trailer, the same color, same kind of stripes. I got Foose wheels on it. Okay. It's on the stand in the garage. Okay. Well, let's go take. We can go take a quick look at that. Okay. Yeah, my Viper truck's in the shop getting a little bit of work done. That's that's cool. The Viper truck. Yeah, V10, man. It can pull anything. The SRT, the, the original SRT10, then the Viper truck, the Ram pickup. It's, it's a yep. big one. Yeah. There's my trailer. And... Okay. Yeah, you got the stand too. The stand. I couldn't live without that. Pardon? I couldn't live without the stand. The trailer stand. Oh yeah. Mine. I mean, it's, I yeah, used to be able to do that by myself. It's been a while since I tried. Yeah. So. Well, I've, I've actually put a my my ceiling is higher in my in my garage, and I actually built a hoist up in there, ah, and I lower you. it down, and then the, the hoist I can, lower, I can raise and lower it with that. Well, because I, I couldn't I, do it. I tried a couple times myself, and I almost broke my back. Yeah. Doing it. So. Well, I cut three inches off of the the tongue on this one, so I. I just stay. was I, just wondering about that. That's like, man, that just barely fit, but it does look like it's shorter. See, so your tongue is shorter. Yeah. Okay. No problem. I just took it out of the framework. Uh, Measure three inches, sawed it off. And oh, okay, so in. okay, so that you cut it off down here somewhere. I cut inside. it off here. Okay, because it was three inches taller, but it wouldn't fit in a standard garage. So now right. it fits in a standard garage. Okay. Okay, and I see you've got some different prowler memorabilia here. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. So you were obviously at that event. Pardon? You were obviously at this event here. The yeah, yeah. That was a good event. We drove to that one too. That was put on by the old uh, Prowl Talk. Yeah, I see, the, I see the sign there now. They're, not, they're no longer doing that anymore. Yeah, they have a website. Uh, they still, they, know, we, we have Facebook presence. That's yeah, about they, it. Still, they still have a, but never never what the POA had as far as, mm -mm. as that kind of connection. But okay. We were the black sheep of POA. Yeah. Now, is this a photo of your car at an earlier stage? Yeah, that's after I first got it. Okay. I went to my first Prowler event in 2004 mm -hmm. and I thought, man, look at all these cars. Okay. But I thought you said yours was stock, so it had the bumpers on it. Well, this is after I took it off, but oh, see, okay. I put a black grill on it is after that, the event. Is that my grill? Is that the one you sold me? It's on my car now? Could well be. Probably is. <laughs> Honestly, it probably is. But after the event, I could, you know, during the event, we couldn't tell what which car was which, so I put mm -hmm. a black grill on mine, so I know which car was mine at the next event. Oh, okay. Different wheels. Have stock wheels on you still have the stock wheels on there in that photo. Oh, yeah. There's no stripes, there's, you know, got the stock side panels yeah. and stuff. And it still looks beautiful then too, not, the, not in years even more so, but that's what I was telling them is like, you know, everybody does so much to their car and I've, I'm personally one of the ones I still love the way the original car looks, so I haven't done much with mine. You kind of fall in love with the way it looks and so if I change well, a lot that, of stuff... That was me for the first two or three years, you know, yeah. I thought, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to change anything, yeah. nothing. And I saved every piece, when I got the, you know, finally got around to do it, mm -hmm. I saved every piece until I started filling my garage up. Yeah. And I thought, what am I going to do with it? And then you went to the Texas event, saw oh. all the different modifications everybody oh, had, shoot, that was and that started. <laughs> uh, let me show you something. i got some other stuff in here. Okay. We've got a bunch of other Prowler stuff that I've accumulated. There's a couple things I'll show you that you've probably heard about, but you've never seen. Okay. But this is all my Prowler junk. Okay. i got a brand new transmission in the box. Okay. got yeah. a motor in case I ever need a motor. This and that. got... Seat belt stuff. Got a couple. Got one piece of glass. A few other things. Oh, you got a, you got several extra grills here. Yeah. I could buy this from you in case I needed one. There you go. Let me know. <laughs> I got. How much you want for it? Uh, when you need it, let me know. <laughs> I will. Well, I'll. Yeah. I'll let you know if mine gets. You know, I'd only probably replace it just because it's. You know, uh -huh. it needs a little bit of. Oh, I guess some... it, but it's in good shape still, so I don't need to replace it yet. But lots of extra bumpers. I see dash covers. Uh, these are all right side bumpers. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah. I can tell they're all the right side. Uh, some side these, panels. Are these the original panels from yours before yeah. you put the other they're ones the on? the original panels off of my car. If I ever sell it, I'll swap it out. Okay. I've been thinking about maybe selling my car since yeah, I don't they, drive it. They, they, they put the different uh, turn yeah. signal cover on there. And they have red reflective tape inside of them so okay. that when the light's on, it reflects red instead of, instead of white or amber. Oh. You know, another little trick. Okay. But this is what I wanted to show you. These are Prowler fuel filters. Okay. There's two different versions of it. This is 97 to 99. Mm -hmm. and this one is 2000 to 2002. Same function, mm -hmm. same shape. They hook up everything. It's just a little bit different way they go around. Okay. And these, hard to find. Okay. 
So this the, is, the 97, 99 ones, there, there are less of them around. Oh, yeah. There, yeah. I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, okay. so, but anyway, kind of stuff that I picked up. I've got a fuel pump ready to go. I already have a rebuilt pump with mm -hmm. uh, the SRT4 fuel pump in it. Mm -hmm. And I've got another module complete, you know, bits and pieces of stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shocks. Different things. Wow, so I know who to call if anything of mine I need, well, need a fart, huh? I got quite a few bits, but my good stuff, I've got carpet. I got a complete carpet that's new. I got seat covers. I've got a bunch of other stuff. Can't remember all of it. I've got I got a drawer full, a, a cabinet full of odds and ends stuff. But you know, I the bezels for the mm -hmm. door. Yeah, you know, stuff like that. Things that are hard to come by. I had a hunch. Radiator hoses, I see. Help yeah. yourself. Yeah. Um, what are these from? Oh, those are those Coys wheels. They were on the high board that I had that I got from Wayne Wagner. So they'll fit a, fit a frown, They're right? 20s. He had 20s on the trailer, and he had 20s on the back of his car. Are, these, are they the same backspacing? Are they no, there's different? a little bit of a okay. difference in backspace. They actually would stick out. If the car had fenders on it, it would stick out about, I think, about two and a half or two and three quarters of an inch. Okay. What, now, what, what um, size is this here? These are 11 inch. These are 11 inch. Yeah. Okay. And the backspace is different. I, I measured it. I put these up for sale on the POA, but you'd almost have to have a high boy or have your suspension up in the back to where the tire could come out a little bit. Okay. But the ones for the front, they fit perfect. You know, you don't need to worry about Oh, is that down here? That. But this is from a high boy project. I put stock wheels back on when I sold it. Okay. I was just going to ask, we were looking at this and I didn't realize this before. I wasn't aware of this, that this is a trailer wheel from a 97 or 99 trailer. I didn't realize these are just plastic covers. They're plastic. It's just a plastic cover. Nothing to it. That's wow. all it is. I had no idea that the first ones, I mean, when I got mine, when I got my trailer, it had the, you know. The, yeah. it, you the had aluminum. this little deal here on it, like no. a ring. You didn't have that on it? You had to. Oh, well. That, that goes on, and then the hubcap like locks in. I've got, I, my wheels are just like the, the cars. I mean, the. You didn't have anything on it. No, no, no. What I'm saying, when I got my trailer, it it was not plastic. It's an actual wheel. aluminum wheel, just like the. He's got a chrome something? trailer wheel. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Well, this is what came on them when they first started to make them. Yeah, that's what that's what I didn't know until yeah, well, until Marty just mentioned yeah. that to me. I didn't realize that they that they did that, and then they made later on. Yes, yeah, so the one I have has got it. It's got a, it's a 15 inch wheel, but the wheels are yeah. the same exact. My trailer trainers. wheels were chrome trailer wheels, regular yeah. wheels that were first. But then I took those wheels off and put on the ones that matched mine. The trailer yeah. wheels, the actual original trailer wheels, were really a strange shape, and you took off the hubcap, they were offset really strangely they had a strange design to mm -hmm. them they were really weird they wouldn't work on anything other mm -hmm. than a prowler trailer i don't know how the, what in the heck they came off of unless they made it specifically for mm -hmm. that but okay you know everybody likes the wheels i like the wheels have you done the door opening whiting trick or? yep i do have that in mind actually what i did in mine was um i know there's people that have bought the actual part that can go in there mm -hmm. i just had my son help me put some washers that's fine in that there. Just yeah, actually you know the way it worked for me is i took the washers and i i took like three washers and i wrapped them up in electrical tape and then drilled a hole through the middle of it and that way they stayed together so he could work you know in that tight quarters to try to put the yeah. the piece in there it, it, i was only able to get two to fit on the passenger side for some reason we couldn't get three washers to fit in there but we did two over there and three on the driver's doors made a made a big difference that's one of the best things you can do to make yep. it a little bit easier to get out of your car yep now i haven't gone as far as some people do where they grind the metal inside so it doesn't rub there i never I did that now you did that me about an extra two and a half inches of opening it wasn't really? a problem okay it's on the hinge you you oh. end up grinding out an area like right in here mm -hmm. i can show you my car when we get yeah. back out okay. this is just a stock hinge okay but oh you take this tab off right here. This is the limit stop. Okay. You grind this tab off, and it allows you to go a little bit further with the opening of the door. Okay. But you got to be careful. Because there's going to be a risk that you're going to bend the panels. If, if, no, if not bar, necessarily. Right? No. It'll run into the fender. Or, That's what or I mean. That's panel. what I mean. You could, yeah. you, if it so bends, you yeah. have to be careful. But once you do it, it's, it's not that difficult as long as you kind of watch what you're doing when you're doing mm -hmm. it. Okay. But... Anyway, yeah. yeah, let's go back out and take a look and, and open the okay, doors. I'm just, I'm just curious. I should have mine alongside to see if it would, if it made a big difference or not. Now, I just noticed you've got an extra fender here. Was this one on your car originally? Uh, I was hoping you wouldn't see that. Right? What That's happened? That's embarrassing. What happened? I had my car parked behind my trailer upright. Yeah. I went to lower the trailer down. Mm -hmm. Fell on the fender. Oh. Bounced off the fender. Okay, so this one is what's wrong. I can't. Oh, I didn't see that over there. Well, I hope you oh. didn't see it. Oh. Leave one. 
Yeah, that, that's a shame. Gal, it bounced uh, off of it, you know, and I'm, thank that's, goodness, old, what's his name, Bill Gill? Yeah, old man, Bill, yeah, old, he's, he's passed away now. I know. He He's kind of cranky, old guy. Tell you a story. I, I got to he, meet him in person. He lived not far away from me, so... Well, I tell you what, he thought I was Ed Monahan and wouldn't sell me parts. <laughs> Honest to God, he told me. I called him up. Hey, I want to buy this or that. Oh, hey, you're that Monahan guy. Go, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to call him back. Hey, I'm not Ed what, Monahan. What did Ed do to make him? I don't know. You'll have to ask Ed <laughs> next time you see him. But anyway, he, he sold me a fender that was already painted. So, you know, okay. so it was one of the so had Okay. So that's how you I had to get it. a repinstriped. And that, but Man, otherwise. I'm sorry you saw that. I should have thought to remove that before you came over. <laughs> Let me show you something else. Let me get it. Okay. Now this is one of those garages that is bigger in Texas. Yeah, this is this is a Texas garage. Yeah. This is what the steering wheels look like before they're painted and the upholstery is put on them. Okay. See under this is a rubber grip. That, okay. See, it's, it's fiberglass. Then you paint it and then you upholster it. Okay. That's a stock wheel. Okay. And well, then, then it's a stock Grand Cherokee wheel because that's all these were. Right. Well. Yeah. Because they use the same wheel. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Famous 98, 99G. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's a Grand Cherokee wheel. Now, this is something. What is that, Marty? You know what that that's is? That's a Viper. That's a Viper steering wheel. Okay. Three of those. Three of those. Yours, right. mine, and, and Dusty Dusterhoff. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I got one core left for a Viper. Same principle. Mm -hmm. Make a nice gripped area in yeah. the front, paint it, and then reupholster it in stock. Stock uh, upholstery. Now, when you say three of them, meaning what? He made three of them for Vipers. He made one for his. He had a red Viper. Right. I had a black Viper. And uh, okay, so this that's not okay. So the first way you showed me was a stock Prowler. That's right. Prowler. See the difference. But, a lot of people think. Some people think. Okay. That Prowler wheels and Viper wheels are the same. You okay. can see they're different sizes. Yep. Well, it's, it's, well the Viper's is a little smaller. Yeah. The center part looks pretty much the same. Yeah, but it's smaller diameter. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So he made he made 99 of the Prowler steering wheels in various colors. He made three of these. Oh, okay. He made one red and two black. One red and two black. Okay. Anyway, that's, it was fun doing that, but I'll tell you what, when I but you outlived your sources, those. you outlived your sources who were doing the work for you on yeah. the fiberglass. People and retired, people get older, mm -hmm. but. I sold 99 of them, and when I built them, I wouldn't take any money up front. Mm -hmm. Somebody would call and say they want a steering wheel. I wouldn't take their money because if you did that, then you were under their time constraint. This was fun. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it to be work. Okay. So if I didn't collect their money, mm -hmm. didn't have to get it done in a certain period of time. No, nope, that's so a good I'd get them done, and, and I'd send them to them, and I'd say, take a look at it. If you like it, send mm -hmm. me a check. If you don't like it, send me my thing back. And I never have one person stiff me. Even all over the world. Okay. You don't want me asking how much were you charging for it? Yeah. That was pretty cool. I thought that was neat. You know what I'm saying? How much did you, how much did they charge, or did you charge them how for How much it? did I charge them for? Yeah. I think I ended up, the last of the batch was probably, I think, 550 or 600, something like that. Okay. For a completed wheel ready to bolt on. Okay. That about, I think that's where it was. Been a while. But. Okay. Well, thank you very much for letting me see your car. Hey, Pat. Another prowler. Yeah. You're welcome anytime. Oh, thank you. Thank you. See what's nice for me, he he, uh, he gave me the personal service of putting both the Prowler steering wheel and the Viper steering wheel on. I didn't have to worry about taking that airbag off and exploding in my face. <laughs> well, I have to admit, the last time I did it, we did it together, I pinched his horn button and his horn didn't work, so that was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> but, but we got it fixed. Yeah, you got it fixed anyway. It was cool. Okay. So I enjoy, still enjoy fooling around with him. I don't have the, you know, I'm 74. So it's a little tough to do a lot of the things mm -hmm. I used to do. But I still enjoy the car. I, I mm -hmm. enjoy the people. Have a good time with it. Yep. Well, it's the people that make this car. So exactly. That's, that's, exactly. I haven't that's talked to him into going to West Virginia yet. Oh. So there's your door hinges. Well, you oh, yeah. Let's, uh, hey, right? yeah. let's take a look at the door here, how much well, farther it's opening up. That does feel a little, that does look like it's going up more than mine. Well, you can't see it unless you have a side panel off because that tab, that... Oh, yeah. So you do have the more... Um, yeah it's just a piece of aluminum yeah you know but what's nice about it it's slotted mm -hmm. and has a hole so you don't have to take both screws out of the door checker you just take the top one out loosen the bottom slide yeah. it on and then put the other one in yeah okay yeah but you you did grind down the one inside here a little bit yeah you do that oh yeah i see the piece in there can you see it now well i can see the piece that you were showing me before yeah. right here it's a little tab that just Otherwise, you got to be careful that it doesn't open up too far, hit the mm -hmm. fender, or bend against the door frame. Okay. 
I like the I like the, uh, the door sill. That's another real rod product. Okay. Bob Getz's deal. Mm -hmm. He had a he he really did some good things with the prowlers when mm -hmm. they first came out. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, buddy. Hey. Very much appreciate. Like I said, you're welcome anytime. Oh, thank you. Say goodbye to the camera. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye, everybody.